everybody, this is Evan Rogers wearing his Ariel Under the Sea shirt, and I'm here to teach you some JLPT N4 Super Excitoru lessons. This is the listening. We're doing number five of section three. Uh, these should just all be in order, so I don't need to say this every single uh, time I make a video. However, I'd like to encourage you to consider becoming a uh, subscriber of a Patreon or uh, or a PayPal. Um, that way you, or uh, sorry, PayPal, a subscribe star. Uh, that way you can encourage me to keep doing this and also uh, get some free downloads. Well, I guess not free. That's a dumb thing to say. Some downloads that come with it. Uh, so that was not correct to call it free. Uh, anyway, um, let's get started. I'll stop talking about stuff. You all know how this works by now. Here we go, number five. Goban. Goban. Yomikata ga shiritai desu. All right, so um, we have a few grammar points here. We have the stem of a verb. Uh, you should know what a stem is. Uh, you should, by this point, know the mas form of verbs. Ikimas, nomimas, tabemas, hakimas, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so the end in mas. If you just take off the mas there, you're stuck with what um, I like to call the stem. Some books call it something else, but I like to just call it the stem. Uh, if you take that stem and you add here, if you add kata, it means the way of you know, doing the verb. So here we have yomikata. So that would be the way of reading or tabekata, how to, you could translate it as like how to verb. Tabekata, how to eat. Nomikata, how to drink. Yomikata, how to read. Some That, that might be a better translation as the way of. But um, the reason why I chose the way of as the original translation is because this kanji, the kata kanji here, uh, literally is a kanji for a road. Like it's a, like a path. Which is intriguing when you think about how this is the kanji for like when you're saying dochira no ho ga ii desu ka, you know, uh, yonda ho ga ii desu ka, should I read it, that entire should I do something, which path should I take kind of a feeling. Anyway, uh, stem plus kata equals how to do something or like the way of doing something. And over here, uh, we have the tai after a uh, after a verb stem, so tabetai, nomitai, shitai. Uh, all that sort of stuff. It means uh, want to do that thing. Be careful. That is an E adjective. So it conjugates or agglutinates as as such. Uh, shiri takunai, shiri takata, shiri tai. I guess that's just it. So it's an E adjective. So, so, so that explains why this is a ga particle. The subject is the how to read it. The way of reading this. Ga shiri tai desu. Is I want to know. So the way of reading, and then this sounds weird. Just go with me. Just go with me. In English, how we would communicate the idea of shiritai, we would say, I want to know. And it's very much a verb feeling. There's an action, a wanting to know. But if you just think of wanting something as a state of being, like I am having the feeling of want, then the thing that is want to know Again, just to hear that sentence. The thing that is want to know, the thing that is I want to know, is the yomikata, the way to read that kanji. That's a very strange way of thinking about it, um, but I think that's the more correct way of thinking about it. Uh, so uh, the ga particle retains its idea that it's a a a a, a, a subject marker. Um, I think recently with these Thai form verbs, English has entered into the language and the O particle is also becoming more common. Uh, so when you have an O particle here, you're thinking of shitty Thai more, you know, the, the verb Thai form much more as an actual verb. But if you have a ga here, it's very much the adjective nature. The ga is the, the correct way of doing it. However, I mean, what are you going to tell a bunch of kids who are saying it slightly differently? Uh, o is acceptable. Okay, so uh, the next one is nan tui maska. We've seen this in every single one. Uh, how do you say that? Or in certain situations, what is it called? But that's not what it means here. All right, let's look at the picture. And then oh, let's listen to him say nan tui maska. Here we go. Nan tui maska? Oh, it was a, it was a chick. Okay. Uh, N4L. Here's the picture. Oh, my God. That looks like me when I'm trying to write anything in English. Yeah, that is some um, bad calligraphy. All right. Let's check it out. Uh, so, Nantu Maska, what do we say? So, how do we say, yo, dog, ain't know how to read that? Teach me! Okay, great. We have the ndeska ending. The ndes is asking for an explanation. Uh, we have, we're going to have it here in number two. Uh, just looking down really briefly, I see that. Uh, Kaita is the past tense of kaku, so was written, did write. 
So he's asking for exp an explanation about um, the it having been right written. And then doyate is how. So this is interesting. Um, do uh, once again yaru and suru both mean to do. And however, in the te form yaru is yate, and in the te form suru is shite. Do shite is why. Do yate is how. Uh, so do yate how kaitan deska how was this written? Uh, do yate how and then kaitan deska how was it written? I ask for an explanation. It, could you explain to me how this was written? Something like that. All right. Next one. Number two. Ni. Nanto kaite arun desu ka? Oops. I got the wrong thing. All right. There we go. Uh, nanto kaite arun desu ka? Uh, yeah. This is uh, much more the correct answer. Uh, once again, we have the n desu ka. So he's asking for an explanation. Could you explain to me? Uh, okay. So we have the te form kaite plus aru is um, something has been written. It is written and it's done. And it's, uh, it's, 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 it's. It has been written. Um, so so be careful. That's different than it was written. This is it has been written. Do you see that was versus has? They're both the past participle though in English. So nanto. So this is the quotation particle. So up here we had nanto imaska. So this is, uh, you know, uh, I, now remember I told you that this is uh, how, what would you say? Uh, whereas it could also be what, uh, sorry, uh, uh, what is it called? So anyway, that idea of nanto imaska is the same thing as nanto kaite aru. So it has been written as what? Is literally what you're saying. The to particle in other situations can be translated very similarly to the word as in English. So it it has been written as what? Is literally what's happening. But if you just, maybe you could, you could think of it that way. It has been written kaite aru as to Nan, which is how or uh, what? What has it been written as? Might be a translation, but let's let's make this less weird, okay? So if you just think of it like a quotation particle, to, um, and 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 the way that we're communicating it is kaku is writing. So we're asking it has been. So you know he said the dog is big. She wrote the dog is big. That's kind of what's happening here. Uh, so it was written. So uh, what? What did they write? What, how, how was it written? Uh, kind of like that. In English, to get the sense, we kind of have to flip it to a, to get the idea of a sentence followed by a toe part, like a quotation followed by the subject says that thing or writes that thing or says that thing or asks that thing or declares that thing. Uh, we kind of have to switch this non, this, this, this what to a how, uh, just cause that's the way English work. So that's the way that English works. However, um, it, it basically means uh, what has been written would be one translation. Uh, it has been written as what? Or, you know, much more commonly translated as uh, what does this say? How has this been written? Uh, what it, basically saying what, it, what, what, what is written. Uh, so, kaite aru, it has been written. And nan to kaite aru desu What is written there? Like, so you see, this grammar is very strange for English. Okay. Anyway, I'll stop yakking on about that. I've been told I repeat myself too much, which is fairly accurate. Number three. San. Nani o kaite okimashou ka? Okay. This is uh, <laughs> uh. Okay. So if they're looking at a piece of art and you say this when you're looking at a piece of art on the wall, you need to tackle the guy who says it okay so masho is shall we or i'm being tentative i'm proposing an idea but i'm a little bit hesitant about it i'm i'm, I'm looking to I'm, I'm gauging your ideas your your feelings uh te okimas we talked about in the last video uh to do in advance to do in preparation for the future uh so kaite okimas would be uh you know to write something for the future maybe you're making a grocery list kaite okimas However, he's saying mashoka. What should we write for the future? And then that's nanio. Nanio kaite okimasho. What what should we write for the future? And it's very heavily suggested he's going to be writing on this thing. Uh, so yeah, that guy is thinking about writing on some art. Imagine that you go to see some art, and then it's like, hey, what should we write on the Mona Lisa? You need to shoot that guy 
in the kneecaps ASAP before he ruins the Mona Lisa. All right, let's do a, a normal English translation. Yomikata ga shiritai desu. I want to know how it's written or how it's read, sorry. Uh, nan to imasu ka? Uh, what, what do you say? Dou yatte kaitan desu ka? Man, how do they write that? Well, first, you got to drink nine beers. <laughs> and then put the brush in your mouth. <laughs> Very difficult to read. Calligraphy in Japanese is indeed very difficult to read. It's it's beautiful, but it's difficult to read. Man, what is what 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 is written there? How has it been written? Not really. That's sorry. That's actually number one. Uh, what's been written here? There you go. What's what has been written there? Perfect. Uh, number three. Nani wo kaite okimashou ka? Uh, what do we write? What what should we write on there, man? What should we write? What should we write? <laughs> And that is that. We will listen one more time to the listening without with my microphone off. Before we do, consider subscribing, liking, thumbs up. Uh, PayPal donations would be fantastic. Patreon, you get a reward. Same thing with Subscribestar. And all that good stuff, uh, go check it out. Go check links in the video description. Here we go. 5番 読み方が知りたいです。何と言いますか? 1 どうやって書いたんですか? 2 何と書いてあるんですか? 3 何を書いておきましょうか? Bad man drawing on paintings. All right, that is the video. Have yourselves a great day. Happy dappy doopy dappy doo. Peace out.